GMP source, uh, which was a, a term we coined, serves the purpose as a highly qualified raw material for generation of virus, messenger RNA template, and transient expression of proteins. In its origins, back uh, very early into the turn of the century, viral manufacturers were facing some major headwinds. The sector was in a rut. Part of what was throttling it was the inability to get enough clinical grade DNA quickly enough at the right price point for them to be able to progress. We were approached by one client in particular. He came to us and he said, guys, you've got to step your game up. Research grade DNA is not going to be usable to produce clinical material. And we as a sector, we cannot afford clinical grade material. We need you to come up with something else. There's an old saying in biologicals manufacturing that the, the product is the process. You do a lot of engineering up front to come up with one singular fixed process that produces the product. In GMP source, the product is the product and the manufacturing system that you're using has sort of internal guidance points in it. It's a fixed set of tools in your toolbox and the ability to react on the fly to end up with a product that can hit the right purity metrics. And you're using processes internally that are identical to those you use in GMP. GMP source is more rugged. The reason that hundreds, if not thousands, of manufacturing events are at the point they're at now is because GMP source grade DNA gave them that kickstart, it gave them that ability to get positive data. It was highly collaborational because we would not have been able to execute on this without the help of people that were out in the sector, in the viral world, and the clinical interface, and the regulatory interface. And uh, I would say we're more collaboratory now than we were even back then, because at the end of the day, if you don't do that, you're impeding the progress of something that might be a great drug down the road. And the people that you help move to do that program, they won't forget that. And a person that's in a program in one day might be in another program at another company three years down the road and say, hey, talk to these guys. We're just the tip of the iceberg in terms of demands that are coming down the road. And we have to be able to meet those demands to fuel the industry as efficiently as we can to let these things either succeed or fail. The longer we keep something in house, the slower the progress of the drug. And at the end of the day, the thing that we're most proud of is the number of things we've helped to usher to the market because it's a reflection on our ability to operate efficiently, quickly, you know, with purpose. There's a certain point of pride in that. I think that GMP source and those other services that providers in this space came up with were incredibly enabling. They allowed people who didn't have a lot of money to spend to get things through that gave some amazing results early on and that greatly enabled the progress of drugs that are out there licensed now, things that are coming on the market, a massive number of things that are in the pipeline. It was a great and practical way of overcoming a significant obstacle.